What's this? Well, that is the weirdest looking floppy disk ever. Uh, oh, hey. That's convenient. Duh. Your cat is green to gato. What the hell? Good morning, Crazy Ken. You need to steal the iMac Pro from Johnny Ives' white room. This message will self-destruct in three, <laughs> two, one. Yeah. in here oh there it is so as you can see ladies and gentlemen I have infiltrated the hidden fortress of Jonathan Ive and entered into his white room of secrets all just today to unbox the most expensive product I have ever unboxed on this show a USB-C dongle. I mean, seriously, these dongles cost a shit ton of money. I mean, I can't really blame Apple. There is a controller inside of here. There's actually a lot that goes into these things, and I have used some third-party dongles that are cheaper before, and they all suck big duck. So, I'm going to be sticking with the Apple brand. Thank you very much. I don't care how much it costs. I need it. But that is not really the reason I called you all here today. So dongles aside, I'm actually gonna unbox and set up this beautiful iMac Pro with 14 cores. 14 mother cores, like, I can't even think of what I do that would require that much power. But we have them anyway. So 14 cores, Xeon, 128 gigabytes of RAM, the Vega chips for the GPU, all inside a convenient, super easy to open and upgrade package. You'll see the humor in that later. All right. One thing I like about Apple is they really make simple box designs. Unlike some other ones I've opened earlier, which require like a blowtorch, Apple actually makes their packaging really beautiful and really easy to open and environmentally friendly. So IPA, they're thinking about you. Anywho, let's flip this open. And it comes down the other way. Very anticlimactic. I'm gonna flip this bitch around. Boy, what a great idea it was to film this on a tablecloth. It's so easy to work with. Anywho, dun, da, bum, 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 Space Odyssey. That's the screen. Beautiful resolution. This looks like our little accessory box. Oh, just slides right out. Boom, black power cord. When Apple does black stuff, it's always special. That was it. Oh. It was, it was literally just for the power cord. Okay, we'll just set that right there. Anyone want some toast? Just pops right out of the, oh shit. Well, <laughs> all right, we know how durable that little tag is now. We, we learned that. Um, yeah, that, that was not good. I, I'm sure it's not broken, but, <laughs> oh, what a great start. Uh, anyway, this I'm really excited for because this is most likely, judging by the shape, the exclusive Space Gray wireless magic keyboard and mouse, which only comes with the iMac Pro, or on eBay for like hundreds of dollars, probably thousands of dollars. Do a slide out like that. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, oh. oh you can get high off a new Apple product. It just smells like fresh science. Like. Look at that. Unwrap it. Dude. This is the shit. I'm not a huge fan of numeric keypads, honestly, but man, this looks great. And it's thin. All space gray. It'd be cool if it was backlit, but I'm typically working in a lit environment. Anyway, very freaking nice. That looks good. And let us not forget the Magic Mouse 2 space gray in its own little space gray little 
pouch. Dude. Lots of cool videos are gonna be cut with this bad boy. Remember when Steve Jobs introduced the puck mouse and he said this is the coolest mouse on the planet? This is the coolest mouse on the planet. And it won't give you carpal tunnel syndrome like the other one did. I mean, the puck shape. Who thought of that idea? Yeah, this is pretty baller. This is pretty freaking awesome, look at that. They even give you a lightning cable that's black to charge the black accessories. Now, if only they would ship more uh, black Thunderbolt cables, that'd be great. But yeah, included lightning, awesome. Got another little package. The iMac Pro. Ooh, black Apple stickers, hello. Have they done that before? I feel like they have. Um, ooh, yeah, that's, <laughs> you see the white ones everywhere. I got black ones now, oh freaking yeah. And of course a cleaning cloth, which is always black. That was already black to begin with. I'm trying to determine how to approach this unboxing without shattering everything in sight. Oh, yeah, oh, that's, that feels good. Just gonna carefully set down the almost $10,000 computer. Okay. Let's go. Make way for the star of the show. I am just admiring this beautiful aluminium, the black aluminium. And uh, yeah, to go with it, they have this like darker wrapper on it too, which is a nice little touch. Man, this thing just feels amazing. Like there's so much horsepower with a 5K display packed into something that's so thin and just tilts with no effort. Let's uh, pop the cherry. And unwrap it like a little Christmas present, a little $10,000 Christmas present. I'm sorry, I'm just like a space gray addict. It's like a drug. And one, two, three, boom! There it is, the beautiful iMac Pro with wrap on the front. Yes, let's uh, remove that, okay. I just wanna say, I've said this before on Crazy Ken, peeling this protective plastic off of new technology is like the best feeling in the world. And I'm about to do it with the most expensive gizmo I've ever touched. So I'm going to savor this. This might be an hour long sequence and I'm gonna disable the fast forward button so you can't skip. You're just gonna sit there and watch me unpeel this for an hour. Oh, this is better than what I've been told sex feels like. Oh, gosh. Oh, mama, that was good. And that was just one of them. It looks like there's more. Oh, it ripped in half. That's beautiful. Let's do the other half. It ripped in half on purpose, just so I can savor the moment. Ow, electric shock, you bitch. Ow, don't do that to me. I really don't want to touch the screen. And there's even more to peel off. They had that on the apple on the back. Keep that shiny. This is just unfreaking believably beautiful. It really is like a statue or like a modern piece of art on your desk. Like, I don't even want to touch it. This is the most beautiful, finely crafted computer I've ever seen. Seriously. Let's take a look at the ports. Well, we have a headphone jack, which is great. That didn't get removed. SD card, four USB 3s, I'm guessing those are three type A, and then we have C, which is also Thunderbolt 3, which is really awesome because I'm also gonna be using a Thunderbolt 3 RAID system with this, and our ethernet. So yeah, lots of good ports on here and some backwards compatibility, which is great. And in the uh, central hole there is the power. And on the foot, we have even more awesome wrapping to pull off and savor those moments of Peeling that stuff, oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> so I'm gonna save that for later. Mmm, it still smells like fresh apple. All right, we are all plugged in. What do you say? Give it a boot up? Next time on Crazy Ken's Tech Misadventures. Just kidding, I wouldn't make you wait for a part two just to see the thing turn on. That would be a dickish marketing move, right? There's no way I'd do that. Promise. Now before I boot it up, I have a question for all of you. So. Personally, I'm a fan of darker things, dark themes in software, black products, even my iPhone is freaking, you know, jet black. I held out for that one and spent the extra money to get the upsell, but like, what is it? What do you think it is about black things? Like, exclusivity aside, what is it about darker 
products that a lot of us gravitate toward. I know not everybody likes the black stuff, but I know many do. So what is it? I'm not even quite sure. What I will say about this though is that the space gray chassis kind of blends better with the screen and the bezel, making it look more like a unified shape. And the way the light reacts with the contours is just so freaking beautiful. And I love it. But I'm just wondering, what do you guys think? What is it about black things like phones, computers, software skins, you know, that makes us go crazy? Anyway, here we go. The first boot of the 14 core whore, that was for you, Ada Blasi, iMac Pro. Pro. All right, we need to turn on the keyboard and mouse, which should be a rather simple task. Mm, this clicks really nice. Me gusta. Oh, okay, this is working. Um, that's working. Okay, good, yes. English! My favorite. This is beautiful. These are going on eBay. This and the freaking, like, keyboard are going on eBay for a lot of bucks. I don't think they're going for as much as they were when the iMac Pro first came out, but man, when Apple turns something black, it just never goes back and it goes way up in price, which I'm not against. I think that's cool, yeah. Gives you something to sell on eBay. We're gonna skip the internet for now. I'm gonna have to migrate a lot of data, but I'm not gonna show you all that. That's not really necessary. I'm just gonna set up a generic user account to begin with. We don't really need to migrate all that stuff right now. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They will never see it coming. So while that's loading, here are my plans. What I really want to do is test out the speakers on this thing because they probably sound amazing. But the other thing that I might save for a little bit later is I want to do a speed test. I want to see how fast this thing really is. So stick around for that. Sure, we'll do the express settings for now because I'm probably gonna just change them all anyway. Look at that 14 core performance. It really shines right here. Look at how well that graphic rendered. The Vega really drives those pixels. Dun dun da, 5K. Beautiful 5K screen. Let's see what we got in this bad boy. I say bad boy a lot. Is that just a thing? I don't know. I don't know. We have a 2.5 gigahertz Intel Xeon W, 128 gigs of RAM, and a Radeon Pro Vega, 64 with 16 gigs of video memory. This is the fastest computer I've ever touched. Number of cores, 14. Right, so it is a 14 core system with 128 gigs of RAM, two freaking terabytes of super fast storage. That is amazing. All right. Right, so I think the speakers, considering this is a really thin all-in-one computer, are pretty good. Yeah. And for a final personal touch. And boom goes the turpentine. That looks beautiful on that 5K display. Now before I say goodbye to all of you, there is one thing left to do. I need to give my personal MacBook Pro, the thing that has been with me for over four years, a well needed upgrade. It is now the MacBook Pro Pro. You know, as much as I love my photography, I think it's only fitting to show the ink cloud wallpaper because that's kind of the image that this computer is marketed with. So anyway, awesome start. Now, is this thing really as fast as people say? That's what I'm gonna test on a future Crazy Ken episode, so stick around for that. But beautiful computer, thanks for watching, and there's more to come with this iMac Pro. Catch the crazy and pass it on.